right here in studio, I brought in a very special animal. This animal over here okay. is what we call a wolf dog. Wow. As gorgeous and amazingly beautiful as this animal is, this is not an animal that really should be a pet. And it's a disturbing trend where people, because they think it's cool and it makes them look tough, they wanna go out and get a dog that has wolf, wild wolf ancestry. Now, sometimes you get the best traits of the, of the wild wolf and the dog all in one, but more often than not, you get an animal that is unhappy, scared, living around people. These animals still have a big prey drive. They can be, frankly, dangerous to small pets and even to people. And guess what happens when one of these poor animals comes into a, you know, a household setting and bites a child? Wolves get a bad rap, and wolves are animals that do not need any more bad press. Yeah. So, at the National Wildlife wow. Federation, what we are always about is the message that wildlife are not pets. And here's the good news. You don't have to have a wolf dog or a wild wolf. You can have a dog <laughs> like this buddy over here. Hi. He's a Siberian Husky. And Huskies Beautiful. are a domesticated breed of dog that's very comfortable living around people. Thousands and thousands of generations have been bred to be comfortable in our homes. And guess what? He looks like a wolf, right? Yeah, he does. Yeah, right? so much. He's a mini wolf. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So, so again, we never want to try to make wildlife into our pets. Wildlife belongs in the wild. And, and seriously, don't support the practice of mixing domesticated dogs with their wild wolf ancestors because it's not really good you for never anybody know what you're at gonna all. Get. Sure. Exactly, yeah. Absolutely. Wolves are not pets. That's right. I think that's, that's right. Excellent. It was such great advice, David. Thank you so, so much. Of Incredible. Course. Excellent job. Man. Yep.